Our fifth pair of images includes a photograph of Jay Edwards of the new Lusitanos Benevolent Society's tomb, and a photograph by 20th century photographer Clarence John Lachlan. Society tombs were uh, very much a part of the cemetery landscape of New Orleans during the 19th century, and organizations would be created that often involved people of similar ethnic backgrounds or people bound by a, a similar trade. And the organization not only provided a network of social support and uh, perhaps other forms of uh, psychological or financial support, but one of the benefits was usually that of a burial service. And in Edwards's photograph, we see this wonderful new group tomb that was in the Gerard Street Cemetery, a cemetery that was abandoned and closed around 1960. But at the time that Edwards took this photograph, the tomb was pretty much brand new. In fact, we can surmise without too much fear of contradiction that Ed Edwards was commissioned to photograph the completion of the society's tomb and its inauguration in October of 1859. And this picture is a little bit different than the others of Edwards that we see in the show simply because we know right off the bat it's a commissioned work. The printed mount, uh, all of the information about the uh, society and the tomb is printed on there. Members of the organization are posing in front of it. And so we, we know that Edwards is purely in the role of a commercial photographer, a camera for hire in this situation. If we fast forward almost 80 years to Clarence Lachlan's photograph, uh, we see the same society tomb but in a, a really sad state of repair. Uh, the organization has been largely disbanded. Uh, the cemetery itself, Gerard Street Cemetery, had uh, become a ruin of sorts. And uh, these, these were the things, the picturesqueness of the place, if you will, and the haunting of the cemetery by its dead spirits is something that appealed to Clarence Lachlan. And so Lachlan was using an historical event to overlay his own ideas about 20th century photography and use this tomb and its former occupants as a symbol.